The Utilities page helps us understand participants' relative preferences regarding our attributes and levels. Utilities are numerical point values that describe these preferences. They're also known as part worth utilities, part worths, or preference values. Based on the trade-offs that your participants made, 1000 Minds calculated the utilities, which we can view on the Utilities page. Here we see a couple of tabs with graphs and charts that help us visualize and analyze these preferences regarding our attributes and levels in a variety of different ways. On the first page, we see a table that shows the utilities and levels of each attribute. The utility of the highest level is displayed in bold. This value also represents the utility of that entire attribute. For example, let's look at the column of mean values. Good weather has the highest utility value in the weather attribute, which is 40.4%. This means that the weather attribute as a whole also has a utility of 40.4%. To get a better understanding of each attribute's overall weight and the utilities of its levels, let's scroll down. Here we see a table of normalized attribute weights and single attribute scores. The weight represents the relative importance of each attribute, and the attribute score is how each level performs on that attribute. By multiplying the attribute weights and attribute score together, we get the mean values seen in the utilities table. On a table above, we can also display the median or copy the mean values into a new 1000 minds decision which would allow us to conduct further analyses using the 1000 Minds decision-making features. We can also show individual participant data and choose how many participants we would like to display. If we want to perform additional analyses on our data in another program, we can export our data to an Excel file by clicking Export and then clicking Export Results. For a visual representation of this table, let's go to the utilities chart. This shows us the mean utilities as a dashed line and individual participant preferences as colored lines. This allows us to also see how much variation there is between individual participant preferences for each attribute. We can export this graphic by clicking on the download button here. The attribute rankings chart shows us the mean rankings of our attributes and individual participant rankings. If we prefer to view mid-ranks for our data, we can toggle the show mid-ranks option above. Again, we can get a visual representation of these rankings in the graph below. So we see for what percentage of participants was weather the most important attribute versus what percentage found natural sites to be most important and so on. Visually, the strong preference for good weather over all the other attributes becomes much more obvious. The next page shows us the relative importance of each attribute to another. Any number in bold means that the attribute in the row is that many times more important than the attribute in the column corresponding to that number. And the inverse is true for the numbers that are not bolded. For example, we can see that the weather is almost twice as important to people as the cost of a destination, or alternatively, cost is half as important as the weather. On the marginal effects page, we can view how the utilities change between different levels of an attribute. In this graph, the curvature of the lines tells us the marginal effects of moving to higher levels on an attribute. For example, the lines for city sites and nature sites both have a linear slope, which means that the utility increases at a constant rate between the levels. Cost, on the other hand, has a decreasing slope, meaning that the utility increases a lot when a vacation destination moves from being expensive to being affordable, but it doesn't increase as much when it moves from being affordable to being cheap. We can view a table of these differences in utilities between attribute levels below the graph. Now we know what really matters to our participants when it comes to choosing where to vacation, and we can craft vacation packages accordingly.